Hello Seven Citizens, my name is Black and welcome to my channel Casa Black Gaming. I will be your guide today continuing from where we left off from the first guide which started your journey and we are now on the planet Microtech and more specifically the town of New Babbage where you are ready to continue your journey which in this video will include learning where to buy things you need before taking off from the planet so once you're off world you can be more successful. Keep in mind, this is just one of 10 guides in this series, with guides number 2 through 5 being only needed depending on the starter planet you are on. The guides after these four starter planets will teach you the remaining basics like how to leave the planet, where to go, how to set your spawn location, so when the verse kills you, you don't have to start back on the planet where your adventure began because things get easier if you're stationed out in space versus on a planet. I will also show you some of the other basics like inventory control, how to upgrade your ship, and the very basics of accepting missions and reputation. Now feel free to skip to the guides that you need if you already know the four planets and where things are located, but I promise this will be fast and informative and help you start your journey on the right foot. So let's skip the normal channel advertisements since we took care of those in the first video and let's get into this great info. All right, so let's leave the apartment building and let me show you how to get around New Babbage. The choice to grab your armor now or to wait until you get off world is completely up to you, but I will show you a place to grab some early level gear if you're interested, and I will also briefly explain how the inventory system works, which is one of the most important things that a new player really needs to learn. From the apartment building, you head out straight and you will see some stairs heading down with the MT Metro Loop sign above. The metro loop will be how you travel between the three zones you have access to now until more building interiors are added later. We want to go down these stairs and follow the hallway around until you get to this wall. which tells you you can go right to the commons, which is where we will be buying our gear and tools, or you can go left and travel directly to the spaceport. Now, if you choose to go to the spaceport, you can skip ahead in the timeline, but otherwise go right and let's get some gear. The trains are constantly arriving, so just wait if one is not yet there and board it once it is. You can stand or sit, I usually stand. Now when the train stops and you go to exit, now look at the sign in the middle and if it says Tobin Export Center, go back on the train. It's the next stop. Don't do like I did here and realize it too late and then have to wait on another train. Anyway, after reaching the actual commons, you will get off the train and head toward the exit signs. Then up through the corridor and cool terrarium that's in the floor. And up the stairs to this cool looking area where depending on the time of day you will see joggers or NPCs doing yoga out on the green pitch right over there. Alright, from here we want to go left toward the New Babbage Plaza and circle around until you come out into the plaza where you will see a large holographic billboard displaying the Moby Glass ad. From here you can go right which takes you toward a great shop called Omega Pro but first along this route there is a terminal where you can easily sell some of your cargo for trade. These terminals here. Also, a delivery drop-off box for delivery missions is right here. Alright, anyway, back around this way, follow the signs for Omega Pro. Until you reach the shop here. 
This shop has some ship components you can purchase later in which my loadouts will sometimes point you to depending on your ship and which parts you need such as some of the quantum drives, shields, and power plants. Now here's a taste of what a terminal is and does. Now a bit of a warning here. Let's say you have your ship at this station and you want to buy a new quantum drive for it. You would not select your ship as where to deliver that drive because that would mean they are just putting the drive on your ship as a piece of cargo and not installing it for you. You have to manually install the component using the vehicle manager in your Moby Glass that I went over in the first video of this series. So any components that you buy, always select the station that you are at as the destination. This will save you many headaches later on or keep you from buying the same part again because you think you didn't buy it and you can't find it. Anyway, you can further filter what you're looking for using the drop downs. I decided to look at paints and sure enough, there is a paint here I don't have so I purchased it and had its destination set to New Babbage, which is the current station we are at. And I was not ready to purchase anything else for my ship just yet, but I did want to show you how it works and the various components that are offered here. Keep in mind that not every shop offers the same components, so traveling around the verse to find the part you need is a real thing, and why my loadout videos are so useful, because I show you which components I recommend for your ship and also where you can find them. All right, so starting back at that starting point where we first entered this area and where the large yoga area was, now let's head to Center Mass, which is another store that is very important here. But if you're back at the yoga area, head left again, and you will see that huge Moby Glass advertisement hologram, and you will want to head right following the sign overhead saying Center Mass. Now, as you pass this Shubin Interstellar shop on your right, you can go over to this terminal and buy your armor, multi-tool, and tractor beam. You want to select your destination in the upper left-hand part of the screen first, and most often you will choose the first option, which is chosen by default, which is that station you are currently at. Anything you buy at this terminal will be stored here at the station until you move it. The other destination options are your various armor pieces, if you're wearing any, your backpack, any ships you might have docked and stored here. Until you get familiar with how inventory transfers, just keep the destination set as the current station you are at, which in this case is New Babbage. Now you can filter what you're looking for. This particular shop specializes in industrial gear, so like mining gear, mining ship focus parts, etc. This set of armor is decent to start with as it's medium and will offer up a nice middle ground protection. You can either choose to get the armor now or wait until we reach the space station. The choice is yours, but regardless, I would buy a multi-tool and tractor beam attachment at the very least and a mining attachment as well if you like. In fact, go ahead and buy both so I can show you how to transfer inventory in the next guide. Now after you've finished at this terminal, let's keep going so we can visit Center Mass. You will continue down the corridor until you reach this storefront. And go inside and find a terminal in the back and admire the cool large ship guns that are on display here. Now again, here at the terminal, it doesn't matter what you're buying. Choose New Babbage as the destination for everything you buy. I will not be buying any ship weapons, but just personal weapons for my own FPS use. I'm going to grab a LH-86 pistol and a P4AR rifle and some ammo. Keep in mind that sniper rifles are now only found as loot out in the wild, so just grab some basics here because you will be getting better weapons later. You can use the search box to find that P4 or LH ammo. And now we're all set. All right, so let me show you how to get dressed, so to speak. Get out to the middle of the floor, preferably outside the shop. I say to get into the middle of the floor because when you hit I to go into your inventory screen, if you don't see your character in the center of the screen, then you are too close to a wall or something else, and it causes the camera to not show your body, which can be a little confusing. When you hit I, you should see exactly what is on my screen now, only it's you, of course. Anyway, you can open up the filters and start looking for your bought items by clicking the desired filter under the local storage. You need to add your armor first, so you can drag over the chest piece onto your body, or you can control double click the items to automatically equip them. 
As you are putting on the armor, you will notice a new inventory box opening up on the left side. These are the armor pieces that you just put on. So the pocket inventories, if they have them. These inventories have realistic inventory weight, so you'll not be able to put just anything or any amount of something into them. And so you will need to be mindful about how you fill your inventories. Different armor weights, such as light, medium, and heavy, can also limit which backpacks you wear. So make sure your backpack is a medium if you're wearing medium armor, etc. You will also get more attachment options with heavier armor, allowing you to equip more ammo, med pens, and side holster items as well, so keep that in mind. Okay, so with the gear out of the way, there's only one thing left to do here on New Babbage, and that is to get to the spaceport. You can go back the way you came out the door, then right down the hallway, past the Shubin store, past the yoga people, and then down the stairs, through the terrarium, and back to the train platform to wait. Then ride that train until you get to the spaceport. Exit the train and follow the exit sign through the futuristic turnstile scanner things. Then a quick right into the elevator room. Where you will take the elevator to the NBIS terminal, which stands for New Babbage Inner Spaceport or something like that. Then off the elevator and through the hallway out into the customs area. Go through the blue glowy area, following along down the corridor past the Welcome to New Babbage wall sign, and up the stairs, which leads you to a huge glass view of the distant city that you just rode in from on the tram. Then turn around and up another small flight of stairs and you will see signs for ship rentals, but you're looking for the hangar sign. Walk in here, and these are the terminals where you will call out your ship. Now is where this guide ends, but check out the next guide, number 6, where I discuss calling out your ship and how to move inventory off this world and into your ship. Alright, and so anyway, I will see you in that 6th guide. Until then, remember to be kind to your fellow gamer. The first steps in the verse are just the beginning of something larger and more ominous, and stay positive, citizens.